This could be the warmest year on record, and this is what it looks like in one of the coldest places on Earth. The Arctic summer has come to an end, yet there's no snow on the ground. Instead, the night before it rained, and the temperature is several degrees above the sub-freezing average for early autumn. Of course, that's just weather. It varies all the time. But there's a rumble, like distant thunder, that speaks of a more profound change. The sound echoes around Neorlesund, one of the world's most northerly research outposts. If you travel from there a few miles up the fjord, you reach the icebergs that are carving off the front of the Kronbreen glacier. Glaciers carve like this every season, but this year's high temperatures mean it's more active than anyone can remember. The wall of ice is as tall as a block of flats and we've been told to stay back because of flying boulders of ice. We just saw a oh, another huge piece of this glacier, which is quite literally melting before our very eyes. That thunderous crash is an absolutely enormous piece of ice carving off the front of this glacier. Our guide is Kim Holmen of the Norwegian Polar Institute. He's carrying a flare gun and rifle to ward off polar bears. If they don't work, his trademark hat, knitted by a grateful student, might do the trick. The landscape is very different from what it used to be. It is extremely active and uh, at the same time serene. So it's a fascinating place. I notice in springtime that uh, the uh, snow melts earlier. Mm -hmm. uh, I notice the warm air we're standing in right now. So there, wherever I look, there is very obvious change that I have experienced myself. We're carefully picking our way over the ice and mud. It's dangerous going. The melting glacier can leave deep voids beneath the ground. Where we stand right now, right at the uh, fringe of the glacier, um, used to be nice solid glacier. And across the fjord there, the hill you see, used to be, we used to have picnics on top of that little mound and watch the calving which was happening right beside us. It's less of a picnic spot now, just slabs of ice left behind by the glacier, surrounded by muddy moraine. Best estimates are that the ice has retreated a kilometre in less than a decade. Each time another chunk carves off the glacier. This one, the size of a house, it sends waves breaking across the otherwise still fjord. All the ice in the sea around us has fallen off the glacier in these warmer months. But in winter, this entire fjord typically froze over with ice a metre thick but for the last few years, it hasn't frozen at all. On average, Svalbard used to be surrounded by sea ice during the long Arctic winter. But for years, the sea ice has been in retreat, and this winter, it reached the lowest level in the satellite record, leaving the islands almost completely free of ice year-round. So these stripes you can see in this iceberg are a year in the life of the glacier that it came from. It's amazing to think how much of the Arctic's history is just melting away here. And those cracking noises you can hear are air bubbles popping out of the ice, some of which have been trapped there for 800 years or more. Arctic ice reflects the sun's energy back into space, so the more ice that's lost, the warmer the Arctic Ocean becomes. It's a vicious circle that could raise sea levels and melt Arctic permafrost, causing more warming still. What happens in the Arctic doesn't necessarily stay in the Arctic. Some scientists have claimed links between the UK's severe winter storms of 2014 and warming at the pole. The extreme cold snap and snow in the North American polar vortex of the same year was also linked to warmer Arctic weather. 
The scientific consensus is that if we continue as we are, there will be no summer sea ice in the Arctic around 30 years from now. Melting has changed the geopolitics of the north, opening it up to tourism, shipping, fishing and oil. But in places like Svalbard, there's a whole ecosystem of creatures that depend on ice to survive. These uh, species, uh, fish, birds, plants, have nowhere to go. There is no land north of us, mm -hmm. and uh, which means that uh, uh, we're at the terminus uh, and uh, we are losing some species. Next month, 190 countries meet in Marrakesh to haggle over how to implement last year's Paris climate deal. Its ambitious target is to keep global warming below two degrees. It will help, but it's nowhere near enough to stop the Arctic getting warmer still. However fast we act, it's time to come to terms with a new north.